All right, uh, we're going to use a new tool today for us, a different brand anyway, of this crankshaft installer and puller tool here. So we're at a point to do an installation. Now check this out. Comes with some multiple different adapters here to attach to the crankshaft. We figured out which adapters are for ours. What I love about this kit though is it does have this adapter set. So if you have a crankshaft that doesn't have threads, show your threads here. If you don't have a threaded one, you have one that takes a C-clip, there's even a, an adapter kit to be able to pull these in. You remember her KX65 had that? So pretty inexpensive, a neat little way to do this. So we'll see, show you how to set this up here. Go ahead and uh, set your crankshaft through there. You got to make sure and lift the connecting rod because that connecting rod has to get inside here. So what he's going to do is just kind of eyeball that there. The, this adapter... threads into here so it needs to go on first and we just set this in here then we take the appropriate adapter for the crankshaft this happened to be a 21 millimeter ready to hold it here and I want to use up all the threads I can I want to have maximum support now just so you know we cannot push this crankshaft into this engine right now it will not go okay it, uh, the service manual says to press it or use the appropriate puller. Now that we have this, we can go ahead. I'm going to put a little more grease since this is kind of new. You guys know that we really like to make our tools last a long time, so we grease our pullers up, right? Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and thread this one on. Now notice I'm not using tools. This is all just hand tight. The next thing you're going to notice is this uh, nipple on here. And if I show you the inside of this, do you see where there's a key slot, the whole length of the tool? What that does is allows us to have this guided up the tool. This just sets against the case like so. This happened to be 26 millimeter. We have plenty of grease on here. Okay, now since we're working together, on, you see how I just get it light on there? Yes. 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 Okay. Now, he's got to make sure we're not going to hit the case here. I'm going to go ahead. <clears throat> it's taking a little more effort this time, right? Yep. That's good. It's just squaring up. Should we turn your way for you? Okay. Got it? Yep. Trying to get this in a position so the camera can see it. It's a little more difficult here. Okay, it bottomed. You can see I turned the crankshaft. That's all we need to do. Go ahead here, disassemble the tool. We'll check our work. I want to make a couple pointers on some stuff here. I am in love with this tool. This is easier than mine. Thank you guys for finding this. Okay, the one thing we're going to really be looking at is to make sure you can see here this gap that's in here. When we disassembled the motor, remember we took feeler gauges in there and we actually measured that? Yep. And we said that on assembly, we just want the gaps to be even. So we're sucked all the way against the bearing and we're ready to continue on with uh, the rest of the motor install. Way cool tool.